All right, well, you know, we love sports because they've got the power to inspire. As we showed you in our play of the day last week, one East Carolina baseball player, well, his journey is no exception. Spectre News 1's Evan Abramson, photojournalist Dwayne White, introduces us to one athlete who isn't letting a life-changing event keep him from achieving his goals. 19 months ago, Parker Bird smiles in a hospital bed, while this was all that was left of his right leg. Bird was in a boating accident while tubing with his friends. Hey, Parker. He could have given up, fixating on what could have been. Instead, like any true baseball player, he changed his approach. He embarked on a rehab journey to get back to the sport he loves, using a support system of friends, coaches, and family. You know, his mom told him pretty early on, like, hey, Parker, there's no D1 guy that's ever played the game with, with a prosthetic. You could be the first. And I went to Dick's and bought a five pound, actually, I bought him a 10 pound weight, and he was so weak he couldn't even pick up 10 pounds. But I met him start working out in the hospital because, um, you know, we didn't want him to quit. We didn't want him to lose his fight that he's had his whole life. And um, as soon as we came home from the hospital, he's like, hey, let's go to the cage. He was in a wheelchair. You know, he went to the cage in a wheelchair, and all he wanted to do was track pitches. And from that moment, he has figured out every single day what it has taken to get back to this moment right here. That moment was the start of the 2024 college baseball season, where Parker is still a pirate and a baseball player. But as of Friday, February 16th, he also was the first ever person to play in a Division I baseball game with a prosthetic leg. Ball four outside. He didn't just play, he walked. He got on base in an official game. The picture of resilience and fight. Parker Bird will receive an ovation. He's got a pinch runner. You ever seen anything like that, buddy? No, ne never in my life. I mean, with my family, my mom, she uh, kind of implied in me pretty early on from my accident. She uh, we had kind of interaction where she told me, I mean, keep going, that there always has to be a first, and then why couldn't it be me? Kind of ever since then, I've, I believed in this dream and knew that one day it'd come true. Parker's dream may have changed, but he's now on a mission to inspire others. Show people that I can still still play baseball and that, I mean, just because I lost a limb doesn't mean that my life's over. And to show, show people that people with limb differentials and prosthetics are still athletes and that they still have hopes and aspirations that uh, they're still normal people. For Parker's dad, being able to witness his son's happiness and drive again is all he could ask for. You know, 19 months ago, we never thought this day would happen. And, uh, you know, just to be able to get in the car and drive to a game and know there's a possibility he could get into the game is always uh, a big moment for me and his mom and, you know, his two sisters just to, just to know that he's back in the game. You know, besides the birth of the, my three children, it was probably the greatest moment of my life. You know, never did I think I would see him step in the box again. Evan, thank you very much. Parker will continue to practice and play for the Pirates as they try to compete for a national championship. His family and friends will be there with him every step of the way as he also looks to become a baseball Paralympic athlete. Parker, keep going. Got to take a break. Much